Hello and welcome to Gamers Table. It is Monday and we're reviewing Street Illegal. It's quite simple. It's a car driven racing game. There are always seven <laughs> race cars in the race. Some yes. of them are humans, the others are non human. Right. Not aliens, just controlled by the game. Right. Yes. Old pros is what they're called. The old pros. You have three cars in front of you, the sum of which determine your top speed. The track laid out, which is a, a predetermined eight cards that you deal out face up. So everyone sees the track coming up. And uh, on the track card, it'll determine whether uh, which, which card of yours gets discarded and replaced with a random card. Yes, you have a certain amount of chips at the start. Three. You have some cards at the start. And you have your set track laid out at the start. So there will be eight of these put out at the start of the game. And they just represent different parts of the track. Like this one, you have an obstacle uh, with that symbol. Obstacle to they the left on that one. I get, well, you show it on the component <laughs> vision. And you, some of the tracks have a, n a number from 70 to 90. And sometimes there is no speed limit whatsoever. So you need to be down... Uh, to the speed limit for that part of the track or else you know either have to spend chips or uh, emergency brake every single card in the race has a speed limit on it and it, they vary wildly then you know being able to pass anyone is going to be very difficult because you're just trying to brake or accelerate all the time and you're not really getting anywhere uh, just trying to limit your speed so you're not doing the emergency braking thing. Which could end up damaging your car, making you slower forever. Yes, yeah. right. And the reference cards for every player are really nice. It lays out the entire thing. There's a little bit of ambiguity in the rules, a little unclear, but um, after we got it figured out, it, it was very streamlined. It would buy fairly quickly. You get a mitt full, several of these cars, and they're all different symbols, different speed values, etc., and you start slapping them down to say, this is how fast I'm going. Now this is how fast I'm going. I'm going 210 miles an hour. Oh, oh there's a turn to the left. I need to slow down to 70. Uh, uh, I, uh, I exchanged that card. Okay, I slowed down by Oh, 20. great, now I got a 60. Like, yeah, oh, now, I, now I got to slam on the brakes. 40 to a 60? Yeah. yeah Do you a bunch of card playing, and oh, geez, I damaged my car. Now I'm totally scrawed. Yeah, you always have three cards in front of you. The uh, sum of all the cards is your actual speed that you're going. Uh, the symbols, depend on what part of the track you're on, if you match the symbols on the part of the track, you get bonus chips, which are very handy for passing for and slowing uh, down, for temporarily up. reducing your speed so you don't have to emergency break. For bluffing. Yes. It's a card game, so you have to deal with some sort of, you know, twi twiddly little bits that are kind of annoying, like... The guy who goes first passes you. Now you can't pass anybody on your turn. I mean, I understand how, you know, you can't... Guys go zipping back and zipping back like this to try to simulate a race. But it's really annoying when you're not the first guy to try and pass and somebody passes you. And, well, now I'm stuck in fifth. And I can't move up from fifth position until the next time around. And hopefully I get to pass before he tries to pass. Because he's behind me. He could go in front of me and... Uh, 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 uh. Because you just keep falling behind. There's well, no chance for catching up after you've been passed. Well, for that round. For yeah, that round. Eight rounds. For so. that particular round, yes. You can play it solo, or you can play it up to seven players, which is, you know, you don't see many games that play that many people. Wrapping up for <laughs> Street Illegal. Hmm. I'll put the shifting center. You're, in you're, you're, on, you're English. You're I wasn't sure. Center. I wasn't sure how much I'd like this game, but it turned out to be a really good game. The theme matters the theme feels good in this game um components are all right i mean it's it's uh it's a essentially a card game uh, as far as the genre of racing games go this is probably my favorite not that there's a huge amount in the racing board games so um yeah crash and i can't think russian crush anyways i don't know if you guys played know. that one they get the crokinole one uh Pitch car. Oh yeah, I like pitch car. But well, it's not pitch a car game, totally but different. But anyways, game, yeah. I like this game a lot. I'll give it an eight point five. I give Street Illegal a seven. I like that it's quick. I mean, that should be for a racing game, but 
Though some people can take a lot of time studying their five cards that they've had for the whole turn, and really the numbers aren't going to change. We could have thought of this ahead of time. But, you know, other than that, it can be a fairly fast racing game. So, and if you want to, you can shorten the track. If you don't feel like playing a ring, well, let's make it only five cards. Let's make it a short race. Or make it 12 cards. Make it a really long race. There's a lot of cards in there. Lots of variety. We so, do it cross country and just put them right across the room. Yeah. Yeah. We have enough. Oh, and just <laughs> put the chips to see how far you get. This is your starting position. I'll give it a 6.5. Well, uh, this one is not bad. I don't mind it at all. But um, it really, for me, it comes down to the uh, race itself and the mileage that, or the speed limits that are out there. Again, if you get a bunch where it, there's no limit, it makes the game a hell of a lot easier. If, if every single card has got a speed limit on there and it's real, they're really jumping up and down, it can be very difficult to get those chips that you need to speed up and slow down. And yeah. slow. So is I. <laughs> now keep in mind, so, this is street illegal. Yeah. The speed limit is not like Subjective. a posted <laughs> speed limit. It's just, that's the speed you need to be at and the maximum in order to... Not die. Not die. <laughs> yeah, yes. Exactly. But you don't want to die, you want to win the race. And winning the race, you really need those chips. And they can be very difficult if you've got speed limits on every card. Uh, I don't mind it. I think it's a kind of a fun game. Uh, not particularly into the racing games, although I do generally like racing. If you get a uh, number of cards that uh, have unlimited speed, it makes the game a little bit more fun, a more easier chances for passing. You're not using up your chips every turn. And that's it for this episode of The Gamer's Table. Tune in next week for another game review of another game, because that's what we do. Is that it? Play sequence and objective of the game, but there's really not objective of the game. To okay, win the race. race your cars, win. Yeah. Yada yada. Right. <laughs> right again first. This game is played with seven racers. If uh, they're all old pros, well, and then one human if you're playing one player, or three humans if you're playing seven player. There's or... always that many cars. <laughs> what? Never mind. There, there's, there's, there's always, there's always, there's, there's always seven cards. There are in the game. NPC racers. Yes. And people play, people racers, people See, placers. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> people race, people That's placers, cut, and cut. people racers. <laughs>